Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on build apps come low code no code application development training with me Anubhav. In this episode and series of videos we are learning about SAP build apps development using business technology platform with low code no code development tool. By far in the last episode we discussed about how to create a destination connecting to our company S4 HANA system testing and finding the right API for the purpose of loading the data from our company system. In our today's session, we are going to proceed further and utilize the action which we created in the last class. Finally, utilizing this data from the variable and binding it with the drop down to show our business partners in a dynamic drop down. So you have to go to mapping again, mapping and select our internal table where the data will come. So data and variable, page variable and select your internal table. So go with the mapping option and Vahala look at that. So now on the left you see your data in the internal table and on the right you will see your uh, drop down label and value. So in the value we will bind with ID, unique ID of the partner and in the label we will bind with the formula. So in the formula we will just see map it with the name concatenated with the category so concatenate perfect so that I save it now perfect I save it now and save done so this time I believe our drop down will be loaded with the actions data so we are going to retest now there is one more issue I think is with the condition so let's go back to page and here we use is nully. So let's change this to is empty. So I will change the formula to is empty. I think null will not be the right value. So we just set it to is empty. And we save it now. So it is the time to go back and do the testing. So I head over back to build apps over here. And in the build apps now we switch over to the my cart. And we just wait for message. You see BP loaded from S4 HANA. Fabulous. And which means if I select drop down, voila, there you go. You see all my company business partners are loaded with their category. So I can choose any value. So when I create an order, this is the data which will now get set to the business partner. So this is how we can dynamically load the drop down value from our company SAP S4 HANA system. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next episode, we are going to do more interesting thing on build apps. So thank you so much for attending this session again. And till the time we join the next session, keep building and goodbye.